Hello and welcome to Maths Plus. Today we're covering the 2021 Leave Insert Order in Level Paper 2 Question 4. It's coordinate geometry and the circle. So let's look at the first question. Very straightforward. Let's write down the coordinates of A and B. So A is out 6 and up 2. 6, 2. For X, Y and B, as you can see, back minus 2 in the x direction and down minus 4 in the y direction very straightforward we're on to part 2 now so we need to find the midpoint of AB the midpoint formula is x1 plus x2 all over 2 and y1 plus y2 all over 2. Let's put our coordinates together. So we can set A as x1, y1 and B as x2, y2 and put it all together. So the midpoint C will be x1 plus x2 is 6 minus 2 all over 2 and y1 plus y2 is minus 4 plus 2 let's put them together and we will get a total of 2 minus 1 on to part 3 now so we're going to do um, a circle on the center C. It's the midpoint of AB. So let's go back to that. So C is going to be out 2 down minus 1. It's the center of, of the circle. That's the midpoint. So let's put a circle there. So all you do is put your center of on the on the midpoint. I'm just going to put a circle in here just for demonstration okay so it'll look like that in the end perfect let's go on to part 4 and we need to find the length of the radius and the circle equation for that circle C Right, so we need two formulas for this. The first one is the distance formula and the second is the circle formula. So let's write them in first. So D is equal to x2 minus x1 all to be squared plus y2 minus y1 all to be squared under square root. And the circle formula would be x minus h all to be squared plus y minus k all to be squared in brackets is equal to r squared so let's get r r is equal to the distance okay between c to the second point well we'll go up to 6 2 so that was point a all right so let's write out our points again as 2 minus 1 which is x1 y1 and The other one is going to be 6, 2 on the right. 6, 2 just to make sure. And that's x2, y2. So let's put them all together. So the difference of the x's there is 6 uh, minus 2. So that's 4 squared. And for the second bracket, the difference of the y's is 2 minus minus 1, which will give 3. So be careful with the signs always in the when you have the negatives so r is equal to square root of 25 which is 5 okay that's done now we're on to the, the circle equation we have r squared so all we need to do now is input the center so the center hk is the point c 2 minus 1 so let's put them in here going to highlight h we're going to put in the 2 instead of h and we're going to put in the 
minus 1 instead of k. So the circle equation C is equal to x minus the plus 2 plus y minus minus 1, which is plus 1, is equal to r squared. r is 5, so r squared is 25. On to the next part, just be careful that the sign will always change when you put them into the formula. Okay, so on to the last part. So P is a point, okay, in the first quadrant, but it, this point is on the actual perimeter of the circle, okay? So we could write it there, 2K. So there will always be two instances okay in these type of problems where you're solving okay for k so the other one could be down here somewhere you know be down here two for the x and k again okay so there's two possible values all right so we're going to replace replace x and y when it's on the perimeter when p is on the perimeter okay it's not the center point so circle c will look like this so the two will go instead of x because remember that's x y out here on the perimeter so two minus two all to be squared plus k will replace the y so it's k plus one all to be squared is equal to 25. Let's solve this. So this one is gone. We can write 0 here. And we have k plus 1 all to be squared is equal to 25. But let's look at this square. If I have a squared and I square root it, I can get plus or minus a. So let's square root that. And so the square root of the left hand side okay, is going to be k plus 1. And the square root of 25 is 5. But because we've got the square root, it could be a plus or minus 5. As minus 5 by minus 5 is equal to 25. And plus 5 by plus 5 is equal to 25. So we take both options. Therefore, k plus 1 is equal to plus 5. And k plus 1 is equal to minus 5. For the left hand side we will get k is equal to 5 minus 1 which is 4 and k is equal to minus 5 minus 1 which is minus 6. So the two points become 2, 4 and 2, minus 6. So let's go back to the question. So it's in the fourth quadrant so that means it's up here. Let's have a look at that. So it's in there in the first quadrant. Okay, so that's fairly straightforward. Thank you for joining Maths Plus. Like and subscribe to the channel.